hello everyone welcome back to my channel today i am making a handy dandy little bag i hope you will love it okay so we will need lining so we have two pieces of lining and i'm using this fabric this is the right side and it's two pieces and our measurement so on this side is nine and a half inches eleven and a half here and our zipper our zipper is eight and a half inches and we have our notches here two by two we're gonna take these out all right and here for our tabs, this is for our zip. Our tab, two inches by two and three quarters. So we have two of those for both ends. So now I'll stitch it down and stitch the next end. Now let's go ahead and add our zip. So this is the right side of our zip. We want to put it face down onto the right side of the fabric. So this is the outer fabric. We are turning it down and we want to put it in the middle because on this side we want to leave a stitch which is a sewing space and on this side we're going to leave space to sew also so it's face down then we're going to put our lining on it so this is the wrong side this is the right side and i'm putting it down just like that and i will just pin it in place before i stitch Always pin first. Now we can go ahead and stitch. Now the first section is added. I have stitched it. So let's take a look at it. All right, so our zip. It's halfway in. Now I want to get it flat. I want it to lay flat. So I'll flat stitch here. So I will stitch along very close, very close to the edge here, because I want it to lay flat. Now our zip is laying flat, so now it's time to add the second section. Alright, so first we want to lay our lining, the second piece of our lining down. This is the right side of our lining. And this is the piece that we just sew. So I am putting it 
on top just to line it up and that's line it up with my zip right there mm -hmm. so now it's straight there and our second section which is our outer section it's the right side onto the right side right to right so line it up also at the top so now I have my lining my lining here my zipper and the second section of the outer fabric so I'll just pin them in place and that is before I stitch all right let's go ahead and stitch here mm -hmm. here you go so our second section is on so let us take a look at it all right so I need to flat stitch on this side also Go ahead and stitch now all right so now we are getting there it's time to close up our bag so I'm taking the two outer parts and you want to line them up here at the zipper section like that and you want to pin I will stitch this side I will stitch this side here all right so let me show you this side I will stitch this side and at the bottom here I will stitch not here not here not time to sew there as yet and I'll do the same thing I'll do the same thing for the lining straighten it up so I will stitch here and here and at the bottom here I'll just leave an opening because we want to after we finish stitching it we want to turn it over all right another important point is to leave our zip open so it's closed now so it have to be half open so let me try and find it here and get it open all right all right so i will go ahead and close it up all right so all our edges are closed they are closed and the bottom here it's closed too so now it's time to do our corners. Now all our corners are closed. Alright. So now it's time to turn our bag on the other side. That's on the right side.
All right, here I go. Alright, so we still need to close inside, which is our lining. So I'll just close here and then we are finished. And I'll just add a little tassel here. You can use it for a handle. It's not a strong handle, so we don't want to put a lot of things in our little bag. But um, the tassel will work. 